Hello class, welcome to today's math lesson. Today, we are going to be writing a three-digit number for a model. Hmm. Our model could be some of our base 10 blocks, or it could be a picture. For our first one, I think I'm going to use the base 10 blocks. Let's look at the base 10 blocks here and write a three-digit number. First, how many hundreds do we have? We have one, two, hundred. So if we were to do a three-digit number, we would put a two in our hundreds place. Well, how many groups of 10 do we have? One, two, three, four, or 10, 20, 30, 40. Our four is going to go in our tens place. And how many single ones do we have? We have five, six, seven. Our base 10 blocks represented the number 247. Well, let's try another one. Can you see what number our blocks represent? Hmm, let's start with our hundreds place. How many groups of 100 do we have? We have three groups. 100, 200, 300. How many groups of 10 do we have? Two, 10, 20. And how many single ones? Four. We have one, two, 300, 310, 320, 324. Well done. Let's look at our picture. We're going to use this picture to represent a three digit number. Hmm. The big blocks represent how many? 100. So, how many groups of 100 do we have? Two. How many groups of 10 do we have? <laughs> That's a trick question. We don't have any. And I can't just leave it blank. I need to put a zero because there are zero. How many small ones do I have? Three. This net number represents 203. Do you think you can do the next one? Well, class, take a look at this number. How many groups of 100 do we have? That's right, there's one. How many groups of 10? I tallied these ones, so we know there's five plus one more, which is six. And how many ones? Well, there's two, and I'm gonna put that in the ones place. One group of 100, six groups of 10, and two ones. Well done. All right, I've done another tricky one for you. How many groups of 100 do we have? Did you count four? That would be correct. How many groups of 10? There aren't any. Can we just leave this blank? No, when we don't have any, we have a number to represent that. It's the number zero. And what about our ones? How many do we have? <laughs> we don't have any of those either, but we can't leave it blank. When we don't have anything, the number zero represents that for us. This picture represented the number 400. Well done. We have one more practice problem. Let's take a look at this three digit number. How many groups of 100 do we have? You're right, there's two. How many groups of 10? That's right, there's one. And how many ones? Well, we have two groups of four here, so four plus four is eight. These blocks represent 218. Well done. Oh, class, thank you so much for learning and playing with me today. I hope that you have fun drawing and playing with models that represent three-digit numbers. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.